aspect now let's come back and start with the classification of your polymers so this is the first topic in your textbook but for i first felt to deal with the other topics which are very important and let's start with this now in classification basically we are going to classify polymers based on source right then we are going to classify polymers based on structure we are going to classify polymers based on the molecular forces which they have among them so molecular forces and we are also going to classify based on mode of polymerization addition polymerization or condensation polymerization so when i have to start this classification based on source the first important thing they are classified into natural with source if it is natural natural polymer semi synthetic polymer synthetic polymer the first one first based on the source are natural polymers next would be semi synthetic polymers next would be synthetic polymers done so when i have to speak about natural polymers nothing to define which are obtained naturally from the which are plant origin rather right which are plant origin right uh, like naturally obtained naturally obtained okay if i have to write proteins a polymers cellulose is a polymer resins are polymers all these are naturally obtained isn't it yeah so you can pick up any number of examples so when i have to speak about semi synthetic basically we speak about semi synthetic uh, polymers or those where you have acetate bonds basically polyacetate or polyester bonds so they are basically called polyacetates a bond polyacetate bonds in them right so when i have to uh, speak about synthetic polymers synthetic polymers are man made polymers like your uh, rayon is man made polyester is man made yes nylon man made all these are synthetic uh, polymers Right, uh, like when I say polyacetate bonds, basically they are. If I have to write the example, cellulose acetate, right? Um, just we call them as rayons, rayon, rain cloth. We also call it as rayon. Here you can also add buna n, buna s. All these are. We have already seen the structures are man-made polymers. So let's come back and learn the next category that is based on structure. let's come back and see the next type of classification based on structure so based on structure they are classified into branched chain polymers linear polymers as well as cross linked polymers so when i have to write we of their branched chain polymers are also called as ldp low density polyethene or polymers low density polyethenes or low density polyethenes here high density polyethenes that so when i have to speak about branch chain polymers how should i write basically branch chain polymers are straight chains they have straight chains in between they also have certain branches also so you can write these as branch chain polymers are straight chain polymers with branches in between here in linear polymers there are no branches all are straight chains linearly arranged these are straight chain polymers with no branches with no branches now these when i come to cross linked polymers they are formed by bifunctional and trifunctional polymers one linked other so let us draw i'll show you that cross linked polymers are formed by bifunctional trifunctional polymers done so when i have to write the properties so basically whenever you write ldp that means you have to write about low density property low melting point opposite when i have to write this h stands for high density and high melting point 
here it is you know in between and how does this look this basically has covalent bonds between them covalent bonds has covalent bonds so when i have to draw the branch chain polymers it is in this way branch again this is again this is branch this is branch branch structure again this is branched in this way right so branched branched in this way again branched when i have to draw the linear polymers it is exactly linear no branching observed when i have to draw the cross link polymers exactly okay this is i should not make here because this is branched only till here in the cross link polymers you have one branch here linked again one more branch here linked again one more branch here linked again in this way they have cross linking which is formed in between yeah the thing branches one more in this way all cross linking so this is your ldp hdp as well as crosslink polymers